You know, word today that actress and sex symbol Raquel Welch has died. She passed away earlier today after a brief illness. That's all we know. But there was nothing brief about her life or impact on Hollywood. Men ogled her. Fellow stars clamored to be in movies with her. A lot of movies. From Fantastic Voyage to Bedazzled to One Million Years B.C. and The Three Musketeers, which personified pretty much her sense of humor. But Welch personified something else, beauty, and she knew it. Time Magazine once called her the most beautiful woman on the planet. Empire Magazine, one of the 100 sexiest stars in film history. And TMZ, one of the most sought after female stars throughout the 1960s and 70s. She was also one of the most timeless, maybe because she seemed through all of those decades almost ageless. She was as meticulous about her image as she was mysterious in her interviews. I had the pleasure of seeing that firsthand myself. But you had to face you all the, a lot to. of militant women who were angry at you, and from 1 million BC and on, they were just saying, oh, you know, she's yeah. just a, a gorgeous face, no, and men are salivating over her, and it's ridiculous. She's got no brains, and she's got no talent, and she's not going to last. And uh, We run and, this video in a oh. loop, just so you know. <laughs> but uh, what do you make of that? And then they just sort of d dismiss you. <laughs> Well, you know, I came along in the 60s when I was caught between the um, hardline feminists and the, um, the hippies and the, you know, right. the flower children. And so between the drugs and the rock and roll and the feminists, you know, there was no place for me to land. There might have been causes like Jane Fonda with the anti-war causes. Oh, well, that. That. But there was none of that with you. Well, maybe to, to a degree. Well, Other I, things I, you cared about. I, you know, if I did have a kind of a political point of view, I rather the, than say it, um, I, I would just do something that was along those lines. I did go to Vietnam with Bob Hope and entertain the troops. You didn't give in to that star or starlet desire to constantly talk. Well, you know, when you when you don't have anything really interesting and um, insightful to say, it's best to keep your mouth shut. And even sometimes, keep your mouth shut anyway, yeah. because uh, you know, I uh, that was not. I, I was never that interested in the press, believe it or not. I, I knew that they were interested in how I looked, but what I had to say, really not. And they were interested in scandal, which I didn't really have anything to give them, and if I did, I wouldn't. And I, I just was not their cup of tea. You know, she famously told me after that interview, you know, Neil, looks aren't everything. Look at you. She was a remarkable woman who stood the test of time, maybe because she somehow seemed to stop time. That is until, sadly, today. Raquel Welch, dead at age 82. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.